If you want to be able to browse Safari without it keeping any record of which websites you visited, maybe the cache, maybe the search history, all of that stuff, you can always browse in private browsing mode. I'll show you how to do it. Let's open up the Safari app here. Usually it defaults to just the normal one, but I can switch over to private browsing mode just by tapping on those two squares at the bottom right. Now you'll be able to see at the very bottom is one tab in my case, and to the left is private. All I need to do is tap on private, and now I can choose to unlock this if I already have something, and now you can tell that you're in private browsing because at the very bottom where it says Google, it is all shaded in dark gray. I can just tap the two squares and hit the plus to create a new private browsing tab if I want to. However, let's say that doesn't show up as an option for browsing. The reason for that most likely is in your settings. So hop out of here and open up the settings app on your iPhone. And once you're in the settings app, you're going to scroll down until you see the option that says screen time right under focus. So tap on screen time once you find that. And then towards the bottom, tap on content and privacy restrictions at the very bottom. Now, if this is turned on, you might, let me enter that screen time passcode, you might find that it is set to restrict which websites you visit. So you can find that by going to the App Store Media Web and Games, that third option, just tap on it. Now you can see web content midway down. If I tap on that, this might be set to limit adult websites or only approved websites. If that is the case and I open this up here, you can see if I, well, I might need to close out of it and open it up again. You can see it doesn't give me the ability to enter into a private browsing tab. It only has just the normal browsing. So you need to go in here and set this to unrestricted. Again, you might need that screen time passcode to enter it in. If you don't already have one on there, you can always just turn it off. It's up to you. Now, you can also go back here and completely disable content and privacy restrictions. After you've done that, I would recommend swiping up and just closing out of every single app, including Safari. Open it up again and tap on those two squares at the bottom right. And now you'll be able to see I can switch just over to private browsing so that it doesn't keep any record of any websites I visit.